Hello YouTube, on your request I will show you how to uh, convert this uh, receiver from 12 volts, actually it works uh, from 7 point something to 12 volts and uh, this time I will show you unscrewing uh, like a monitor which is obvious, just unscrew 4 screws but this one is uh, specific uh, no need to unscrew this one. Uh, this wire is extra. Uh, I will explain for what is that. Instead, using connectors, 3.5 millimeters uh, video connectors, uh, anyone can. So remove this plate and move from this side. There is slot. Move like this. You can uh, remove these connectors, first uh, with oscilloscope or something, uh, see where is the uh, video output, it, it has two parallel video outputs, and this mysterious wire is feeding uh, on fourth pin from, from here, one, two, three, four. Uh, this is RSSI signal, which uh, goes not from zero, but from 0 0.5 volts up to 1.2 or something volts, depending on how strong is input signal. So it is planned to make or showing how strong is signal for testing antenna and everything else. Uh, but later we'll make uh, two receivers and uh, feed to Arduino project, uh, which will decide uh, which signal is stronger from which receiver, from which antenna and uh, over CD4066 switcher, a MOSFET switcher uh, will uh, make a diversity receiver. But uh, this video is now about converting, so this feature will be later explained, but I first to, to uh, show to make it in order to show you. Now, in original design, this diode here uh, I will zoom it later in. This diode is protected protection diode for reversing polarity. I just unsolder it, move it a little bit up, just a little bit up, and solder one wire, which feeds to uh, this part. But if this output remains soldered, I pull it uh, this pin above. Um, this pin uh, may make trouble because this LM78 uh, something 05 uh, this is regulator. This is this become hot if you connect uh, 12 volt battery, uh, 3S battery. If you connect 2S battery 7.4 volts it is less hot but I wanted completely to eliminate this heat. You see that, that this is uh, completely heat sink actually. So whole receiver uh, becomes hot. Not only uh, that it uh, was waste uh, uh, accumulated, I mean battery, but also increasing noise. Every receiver want to be cold. So to check uh, whether this right connection, uh, check with all matter this connection and this middle part. Both uh, side parts are uh, connection pins are ground and this middle is plus. Uh, it was plus 12 volts, now will be plus 5 volts. Uh, and instead using short key diode, just uh, wire it with some wire. Uh, this is too thick wire, no need to be that thick. I, I, this is handed to me. Uh, solder to this pad, not to this uh, 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 pin. This pin just unsolder move it up so that uh, it's making no problems because output of this uh, regulator, 5 volt regulator uh, don't like to be powered backward so it may uh, be damaged and that's it that's all procedure uh, find slot there is just one slot put it back and I will not show uh, I will not uh, make any longer video by showing how to screw. Everybody know how to screw it back. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye, and uh, that's it.
Okay, as a bonus video, here is a power bank, everything converted to 5 volts, plus uh, idea, uh, I saw somebody fixed a uh, few screws here on quantum goggles from Hobby King, but I using this part for which I don't know English name. So, uh, here is embedded magnet, I glued magnet plus uh, black, uh, ma not masking tape, but black uh, package tape here and here is metal washer uh, two actually to increase uh, globality of the magnet attraction uh, plus mask it with uh, package tape black package tape so it snaps and you can now walk with this uh, or begin to fly quadcopter then when you want to switch to FPV just put uh, your screen down and it will stay by gravity no need to put here magnet but if you uh, want to land, just put up and that's, that's it. Okay, people, bye-bye.